Hello, I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here at Molyneux with Mr. Joe Edwards. Joe, pff, uh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's, it's a win. I don't know, I don't know how. Uh, Wolves to Arsenal one. Where'd you start? I, I, I'm lost for words, to be honest. That's a crazy, crazy game of football. Bonkers, um, bonkers 90 minutes. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I'm not sure I ever will again. Um, <laughs> Wolves could have been on the end of a cricket score in the first half. They were that bad. They're all out of the shopping defence. Um, that was as bad as I've seen them all time, for a long time. All time low in terms of confidence, mm. I think, under Nuna. They were just absolutely shell-shocked and you could just kind of feel the panic yeah, amongst you the could, ball. Yeah. Oh. It, was, it was tangible. Um, but then <laughs> Louise gets sent off and, you know, Mat Matinho comes up with another... Well, we've a, a, a magical one, strike. One a season. What a, um, and then Leno gets sent off. It yeah. was just one mad moment after the other yeah. and uh, Wolves ultimately get a win and what, what a relief it is. I know we've got on the podcast the good, the bad, bad and the ugly but that's exactly what it was today. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's talk about the bad first and the uh, ugly really in that first half display. They went, we didn't know whether they were going to be five at the back or, or three at the back or four at the back. They were four at the back yeah. basically. Um, and look, it took uh, less than less than 20 seconds before uh, they should have been one nil down. They could have been four nil down, Joe. Uh, you know the VAR decision that went for them as well before the penalty and the sending off. Uh, it was it was pretty poor. In fact, it was shocking. It was shambolic. Yeah, they were all over the place. Uh, to say they were at sixes and sevens is a massive understatement because they were just getting pulled apart. And Max Kilman was being toyed with, mm. and I felt quite sorry for him actually because you know he's not a left back. No, we we knew that before the game, and he was clearly on. We know that after the game, and we knew that in the game after the game, <laughs> he was he was targeted by Saka, and you know, really, Saka's a, a, a fantastic player he's as a, well. Uh, exactly, they uh, were knocking about well Arsenal, but it was it was yeah. Arsenal playing well, and, and Wolves being atrocious. Yeah, and Pepe, I mean, his goal, mm. Samada, that was. That was really bad. Yeah, it was worrying. Um, just the way he's kind of shrugged him off and then scored with his weaker foot. He almost got, seemed to go into the net in slow motion and just summed Wolves' his half up. But then, out of nowhere, Louise, you know, whether he means it or not, mm. takes uh, William Jose down and Wolves have a penalty and the game turns on its head. Yeah. And um, from being rock bottom, it seemed, mm. you know, from the worst you could arguably say Wolves have ever been under new now, they uh, come out for the second half with, with the win beneath their sails and end up winning the game. Well, uh, look, I was just about to tweet at half time. Wolves are incredibly fortunate to be losing that 1 0. Yeah. And so the, the fact that they went in at the break with that and 10 men, and then and then the goal. I mean, it was a stunning goal. It was a stunning strike. Yeah, amazing. And, you know, um, we've all, I think a lot of people, a lot of pundits, and, uh, and quite rightly so, you know, Zhao has not been performing in recent weeks. No, um, and, and, and look, he's not a 25 year old guy anymore. However, when he does play like that, and we know he can play like that, it's a joy. And of course, it's great with a, with what was an absolutely stunning strike. And I think a lot of people watching that for a long time to come. I mean, the, the reactions and the celebrations were fabulous. Yeah, and he just gave Wolves a noticeable lift. It, it, obviously, it was a big weight off Matinho's shoulders. It was lovely to just see him take on a shot. Mm, yeah. You know, you see, you see him in those positions and he always looks for the pass or a sideways pass or a backwards pass, which had been the case as of late. But he's got his head up, he's picked his spot to, to absolute perfection. Yeah. And that was brilliant. And after that, Wolves, you know, got from going completely confidence-stricken in the first half, were starting to stroke it about a bit nice and you thought, oh, well, the third will come. It didn't quite come in. Yeah. He was a bit more nervous towards the end than it should have been, but yeah, ultimately a big three points. Yeah, look, they should they should have killed the game off. Um, you know, Vitini had a great chance, put, dragged it wide. Uh, Jose had, had a decent header that he, that he should have probably hit the target with. However, I would say uh, for William Jose, really good movement from him tonight. And even when they were losing, I, I thought he looked like he was the the best player from a, from a Wolves point of view on the pitch. Uh, just his movement, his touches, a little, little back heel. You can tell he's played a really good standard. He's He's going to be really important, I think, between now and the end of the season. He gives you that focal point that Fabio Silva perhaps didn't, and it hopefully will do in time, and until Raul comes back, and hopefully when Raul comes back as well, because I think these, these two could play as a two, actually, if they end up, you know, signing at the end of the season, but he's He's going to be. He's going to be just fine, isn't he? Yeah, they have a proper target man again, and a pro as you say, a foul call points, which they haven't had since Jimenez's injury. You know, with all the respect to, to Fabio Silva, he's a very young lad, and he's he's very much in the development phase. They have a guy who's who's ready 
you know, really for the, the flat demands of the Premier League week in, week out. And William Jose, I think it'll be a matter of time before he opens his account. Mm. And um, yeah, just, I mean, tonight, this 90 minutes of football, it's got to be the craziest 90 minutes of football I've probably ever seen. Um, but what a relief it is for Wolves. The slump, you know, of that eight game winless run is over. Mm. You just hope that this can be a turning point. And Nuno said as much afterwards, they've got to try and keep emula emulating those good moments they've had in the past and have a good end to the season, hopefully. Yeah, and look, uh, Leicester are going to be difficult. Of course they are on Sunday. However, with a win against Arsenal, by hook or by crook on a Tuesday <laughs> night, if they can go back there now and, and get a decent performance and play better and, and get a positive result, then that's great. And it kind of just allays those fears and you know everything's a bit toxic at the moment and just just allows everyone to breathe a little bit. And look, it's not great, it's not perfect, it won't be perfect until probably next season, but then get through it, have some good results and just build on it, that, that will be perfect. We, we, don't, we don't want to be looking over our shoulders, do we? This alleviates the pressure, no, no doubt about it. And yeah, as you say, wins by hook or by crook. And you've got somebody there in Matinho who's scored, scored a magical goal. You've got Neves who has, has, who has scored as well. And I think that could be a key thing to come from this, that the midfielders haven't done it for far too long. They've been very passive, especially in Crystal Palace at the weekend. Mm -hmm. But the, you know, the, the two midfielders have got themselves on the score sheet tonight and have kind of said, right, we're going to step up and we're going to start taking responsibility again. So hopefully that can be a big thing going forward. I mean, Wolves haven't been great and they, they weren't sensational tonight either at all but if you know those midfielders can start really producing those magical moments again you know fingers crossed Wolves can be in for a, a much better end to the season Wolves 2 Arsenal 1 for the post-match reaction make sure you log on to expressandstar.com